It's Friday, it's the end of the week, thank God for that. All those people who've had to go to work all week, why everybody else pretends to be at work, um, in the house, on lockdown, all those people are right pissed off, believe me. You can, I've seen it on Facebook and that, they're just, they're not happy that they have to go to work. Not the key workers, <clears throat> they're proud to go to work, but the people whose bosses are telling them that they, they can go in because it's safe for them to go into the factory or go to uh, whatever fucking shit job that they don't want to go to. And they're wondering why, like my friend who works for a skip company, it, when the lockdown first happened, he was told he still had to carry on working and he was pissed off because everybody else was off work pretending to work while he had to fucking go and physically fucking work. So if you're one of those people, today is your day of your religious day. It's Friday. It's like, thank God it's Friday. That's how religious, how, how it's religious to you. It's not because it's anything to do religious. The only time God is in your life is when you're saying, thank God um, or thank fuck, maybe fuck is your God, thank fuck for Friday, but um, you ain't got nowhere to go, you've just got a party in the house, you can drink drink the night away, but um, or drink the week away, like all the rest of us who've been at home, that's what we've been doing all week, sorry to tell you, <laughs> we've been living it up, we've been doing like exercise videos, listening to podcasts, but there's one brilliant podcast, you should check it out. It's a guy called Wayne Lawrence, he's a brummie. He's got his brilliant current affairs podcast. He talks about the news and everything. He swears a lot. He swears a lot, so don't have your kids listening at the time. Or your grandparents, they won't like it. I've already had one guy say, uh, send a message saying it was utter rubbish. Utter rubbish. And that was a guy on uh, Facebook who, uh, who uh, yeah, to be honest, he had not fucking one friend and his picture was just like a picture of a uh, of an overgrown back garden. So um, I think he's like some kind of lunatic in his shed anyway. He was this picking, he's probably picked me up on his world service. 